welcome to the craft class. Oh, what a day we've got for you. These next two hours are going to be for any of you crafty creatives who love to be inspired. You are going to adore this, I know. My name's Becky. It's wonderful to be with you, especially when I'm bringing to you such a unique set of elements. And these truly, truly are. Who here loves a little bit of shine colours? Yeah. We have got a massive wealth of treats coming up for you. And the great thing is you may well be tuning in and going, oh, I'm gone, Becky. You launched them about two weeks ago, right? I've already got them. I've already got them. Well, get what we're going to be doing a craft class with them today so that we can if you do already have them really work side by side in making these together a bit like a craft along so if you want to be demystified as to exactly how to use these i've got the perfect lady for you it's my pleasure to say hi hi to the wonderful debbie oh yeah. hello everyone it seems ages since i've been here thank you for all your well wishes i know i was poorly the last time I was here but I'm full of health I've had a bit of a spray tan so I'm hopefully glowing and uh, it's great to be working with you Becky yes I know it's so exciting especially seeing all that we've got going on mm -hmm. today and we really do have serious make after make after make now we're going to be going sort of step by step through quite a well it looks really complex <laughs> but it's one that people can get involved with isn't it oh absolutely do you know what i'm super excited to be bringing you these uh, uh, sensational succulents i mean what better word than sen sensational succulents can i also say hello to um sharon she could be watching but she's been took poorly she was going to be joining us today and she's now not so hi sharon if you're watching uh, and if you're not, I send you all my love. Sharon Callas is the most amazing designer. She designs beautiful collections and I have to say she has surpassed herself because this collection really offers itself to making lots of 3D things, lots of home decor, but including beautiful cards like the one I've got in front of me. Now this one here, I did it because I wanted to show you, we want to go through all these different elements that we've got on the show today and show you exactly how we can use them, how we use them, how we can add on to them to make them bigger as well, but really show just how lovely they actually are. So we're going to be doing step by step. And like Becky said, it's going to literally be a bit of a craft along uh, that you can maybe watch back another time when you either order your dies today or if you've already got them. So there you go. So don't forget, if you are planning on getting these or you have already got them, then it's now your time to click on save if you're watching us on YouTube, or you can just bookmark the page if you're watching us on our site do that and then you've got it locked away for when these do arrive this set is a slightly smaller set than one i've got coming up but you are going to be able to make so much with this so if you just want to give it a try this is your way to do it this as i've said is your sharon callis sensational succulent collection and you are getting everything you see in front of you within this including the lights of your glue tape your pokey tool and paper pads now the larger collection that I've got coming up for you doesn't have the paper pad in it, but if you do just want the paper pad or if you're anything like me and you try something new and you know that you're going to become slightly obsessed so you're just going to be making, 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 I would definitely say grab those paper pads now because they're the ones that give this wonderful 3D level of, of quality. So if you do want to have a little nosy, then I've got um, the pad available by itself. And this is what's gonna give some wonderful little bits of detail to your design. So for example, if you see on this wonderful succulent here, you've got the two-tone color, that's because you've got this fabulous paper. So it does come in this pack that's on your screen right now. It should be nearly 90 pounds, but actually it's 57.33 or $75.25 plus the final day of our 5% off. So everything that you're grabbing on the show today, right here, right now, it is your last time and it is if you're watching live, you will get 5% off. So make the most of it. And we have got wonderful crafts to come. Don't forget that we have got social ready up and raring and going to give us your comments. I've already had loads of people in. I've had people in from Tennessee saying hello. June's in in Florida. Apparently it's wet and chilly in Florida. Hey, oh, we've got a bit more sun than usually, yes. 
say thanks for passing that on. Sally's in North Devon. Hello to Evelyn. June saying, hi, Becky. Great to see you again. Thank you. Sally says, I'm looking forward to this show. I have this set of succulents and I'm hoping for a few tips on making them. And I'm finding the paper um, thicker. I'm going to use it for quilling. I love quilling. Um, I think I need more practice. Well, I tell you what, you're in the right place. Grab it out, craft along. And we are going to start crafting right now, aren't we, Debbie? We certainly are, yes. Uh, but what I would suggest everybody is if you're going for that smaller set and you're getting the pad, just grab yourself an extra one because I'm not kidding you, you're going to love these paper pads. Not only are they great for doing all your quilling flowers because of literally, in fact, let me just grab a die. Let's start off with uh, one of my favourites, which is the sword grass. Oh my now, gosh, I love this I, one. It's so beautiful, Fabulous. isn't it? And what I love about this one is it creates, sorry, a bit loud they're coming off the packaging uh, what this one does is if I just hold it up there look how beautiful that just looks cutting it out so if you yeah. just want to cut that out you have a beautiful scenery die where you could just put that at the bottom of your page and then you can have whatever you what's on your card mm -hmm. coming out whether it's your birdhouse or your sort of uh, little houses that we've got that you can make and uh, lots of different things in fact thinking of that that would go lovely around one of our little carton boxes where you're creating those little houses Brilliant. which look amazing but what they do do when you take one of the pages out of your pad you've got this ombre effect which is amazing so when we put the grass one down what we are in fact doing we're going through different shades there so the darkest color in the center there right through to going through to that beautiful green at the top and the green at the bottom so we're going to cut this out straight away and just show how easy it is to use so i'm just going to be bringing in my uh, gemini plates popping that in onto there and running that through now you use these the same as any thin metal die so you want your base cutting plate your plastic shim your magnetic shim and your top plate uh, and you just send it through as you normally would what that does and you can hear all that cutting in there actually I'm thinking I haven't tried this yet and perhaps we'll try it in the show I think you could probably cut two out of time um, with the pad because that's cut through there no problem whatsoever and actually even that's a pretty uh, that's pretty nice die look at that Could you use that's that almost jungle? like a jungle that's exactly what yeah. i was just thinking that's like a jungle scene isn't it that one you could have all your flowers coming out of the top there yeah, yeah beautiful and then you've got your actual grass one which looks amazing but what we are going to do is show them step by step exactly how you can do it so what i would recommend to everyone is grab yourself some red line Tape. you want the three millimeter the three millimeter is the perfect size that fits on the bottom of your actual um, die so right on this bottom piece I'm going to pop mine into about just a tiny bit so I'm leaving about half a centimeter at the edge so just popping this on now the reason being I'm actually going to bring in my quilling tool so anyone I th I'm not sure if we've got quilling tools on the web we did have some um, but they might be sold out but if they're not I will show you as we co go through the show I'm going to show you how you can do them without a quilling tool but if you do have one a quilling tool is a little bit like this a little bit like a poker tool but it has a little gap between and then what we're going to do is take off our red liner tape so just pop in this bit off. In fact, before I do that, I just want to show you something that you can do with your grass. You can actually use just your fingers. And if you just flick through here, it will actually create different ways you can do it either way going forward or backwards it doesn't even matter if you've got short nails my nails aren't long but it just can you see it's just creating those blades of grass mm. in different directions you can do it with the side of a spoon as well can't you oh absolutely and even if you've got a pokey tool or something like yeah. this you just what I find is when you use uh, when you use a tool you can't feel how much pressure you're putting mm. on um, so I like to use my fingers but yeah it's really good to just use either just to bend them just to give that a little bit of uh, you can see there that's given us really lovely grass there then we're going to take off our red liner tape so you could use your tweezers you could use a uh, pokey tool that you just twist round. but because I've got this I'm going to pop that between those two pieces so as that goes in I'm going to then and the reason I didn't put that tape for a little bit is because it then it won't stick to the actual um, pokey tool and we're just going to roll this up so I'm 
I'm doing it exactly just following that bottom line. I'm not even looking at the actual grass, I'm just following this round. So it couldn't be more simpler. So just pulling that round all the way and that gives us some really funky grass. So yeah. this looks so nice. Now you don't need, so if I bring in this one here, this sword grass, look how that is. Now, can you see it looks bigger? That's because we can then add another one. Now you can add as many as you want. The more you go round, the more you can create this sort of effect, which is what I've done. But if you did just want to use it, which we are gonna do on here, just blades of grass coming out so you keep them straight. They just look really effective when you put them in between uh, all your items there. So the sword grass really is an absolute must have. And it just shows you the different effects that you get in there with that sort of light tips on there and then the dark tips. So that's one of our first ones and I think you'll agree it's nice and easy. Fab. We have got so many of you messaging in. People are obsessed with that dye. We've had Panda saying, I love the grass dye. We've had Alicia in saying that she really loves it. We've made a smaller collection and wants to see what the differences are. Well, I will let you know right now. This collection that you have got, your craft class collection, is your wonderful sensational succulents and um, pot set so what you're going to be getting here is the lily china the labia aloe the neon breaker the jade the sword grass which we've just made the merry maiden the plant pot the perfection papers the pokey tool and the tape pen. So this is all everything that you are getting. So there's 10 different elements within here. Obviously, the likes of these are reusable and then these ones you might want to stock up on. So we are selling these individually if you do need to stock up, especially on the paper, it could be a good idea. We have got the larger collection for you too. And the larger collection comes with embossing folders, it comes with stamps and so much more. There's again, absolutely loads in this. So you're getting the six succulents, as you can see, the plant pot as well. You're getting the gift and pot labels just on the end there. The plant pot poke as well. The geo wire trellis, the succulent frame, the garden frame, the terrarium and the succulent. So you, but it doesn't include the paper pad, it doesn't include the sticky tape, it doesn't include the pokey tool but you can buy the extras separately. So it's up to you whichever way you wish to do it. And let me just remind you on this one, it's again, another fantastic saving because as you can see there, it should be 118 pounds. Actually though, you're getting it for 77 pounds but we're giving you an extra 5% off. So you're getting all of that today for just 73 pounds and 15 pence. If you are brand new and it's your first purchase or you're a platinum member, guess what? You're getting it for only £58.52. That whole collection. So do feel free. You're saving yourself so much money. You can definitely treat yourself to a few of these paper pads, can't you? And I definitely would say it's a great idea to do so. Because as you've seen there, for example, the wonderful um, grass that we've just shown you there, you will use an entire strip of one of these. So if you did want to make a really big 3D piece, you're going to go through quite a few of those pages. The fact you can buy it individually for just 5 99 I think is wonderful. And again, it's not just the grass color that you're getting in here. You're getting all of the ones for your different succulents, which make them look realistic and 3D. What I like about these collections and the papers and, and the whole collection actually, is you can really tell that Sharon Callis is an illustrator, a paper crafter. You can see uh, the quality of these. So do feel free to grab whichever ones you wish. We are bringing to you now a chance because you may well be watching this in complete awe and thinking, okay, I'm brand new. I want to get that 20% off with the extra 5% and I want to shop it right now. Well, this is how you do it. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us.
or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. So that is how you shop with us and you can also get involved on social media there are so many of you who are loads of you are in and Michelle says it's amazing how all of this is made from paper I love it I could not agree more it looks so realistic doesn't it hello to Alicia saying they are both great deals I agree with you there um, we have got the wonderful um, uh, what's that Lisa sorry saying this is perfect collection uh, for my part of the country. Hi, desert in California. Cacti rule. <laughs> Lol. I love that. Do keep those messages coming in. And just to let you know, we are we pretty sure that we've already picked the demo of the show, haven't we? <laughs> because as you can tell, this is a really intricate piece. So um, just to let you know, it will be going on the shelf for later on. Shall we carry on crafting? Yes, please. Okay, which one are we working with next? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do the uh, aloe vera. So, aloe vera? Uh, well, it's not aloe vera, it's the baby aloe. <laughs> so uh, it's classed as the baby aloe. It's a great one to use. It's got these really spiky leaves which look really effective. The great thing is, is you're right, Sharon has thought of everything. So all these different coloured pads that we can use, you can use any of them to make them look really realistic. So I'm just going to place this, and this time, because I see how good that cut, I'm going to actually see if we can cut through two pieces at the same time when I'm pretty confident that our um, that our Gemini will be able to do that. So I'm going to bring in my plates again. We're going to lay that on top and then we're going to cut those out. So nice and easy. Sharon really has thought about absolutely everything. So from the actual um, cacti to the actual uh, papers to the embossing folders, lots of different things that you can use them with. What's really amazing about them is, and I'm sure you'll all agree, at the moment it seems to be that um, the succulents are so on trend, especially for home decors. I mean, wherever you go at the moment, there's succulents in plants and plants pots and actually cost quite a bit of money uh, and none of them are real and I know you pay because you'll keep them but with ones like this you can turn them and change them uh, into whatever you want sort of whenever you want to your different yeah. colors uh, and I love that because even ones like this where we've put them into little pots you could take those out if you want to then redo them and do them with a different one they look amazing and these are as cheap as chips aren't they where I always say that and you know what I always think chips probably aren't that expensive nowadays are they uh, not so cheap nowadays no. I remember you go to the chippy and get like 20 pence and get like big chip cones are you joking no well I'm a bit older than you Becky oh yeah but really <laughs> I just thought it was where you shop <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's saying cheap as chips it's probably uh, not very apt you could probably get your little pots cheaper than what you'd buy chips <laughs> uh, right so this time this is a little bit different to the sword grass with the sword grass you just had one piece that you quilled up this time you can see uh, Sharon's actually put a perforated line all the way down the center what that means is that we can bend that in so I'm just pushing these two center pieces in and you'll see that I'm not doing the opposite way so I'm not doing the back of the die I'm doing the front and I'm making sure they go in together because when you quill them they're the bits that then will spread out so just doing this onto this one and what you will see is that the gaps have been filled so where these go in you can see it makes it so much easier when you spin them round to create all those gaps in so I'm going to do two because I want to show you how you can put them together you don't need to necessarily just use one you can use more than one and it is just a case of keep uh, turning them round and adding them on and that's what I really love about this collection being able to do that and be versatile in the sizes that you make so first of all, we're going to bring in again our red liner tape. So just in case you missed it earlier, it's a three millimetre one. Uh, is it the three millimetre we get in the uh, bundle, Becky? Well, we're getting the glue tape. Oh, you don't the it. glue tape. Yeah, it's sorry. The glue tape and actually, the glue tape will work just as well. You can use your glue tape uh, across. 
I'm just using uh, red liner tape because it is the exact thickness. You can also use tacky glue, um, but it just makes it a little bit more stickier uh, and wetter, so you might get in a little bit of a mess. But if you did want to use tacky glue and that's all you had to hand, um, what I would suggest is put a little bit of tacky glue in dots along there and then use your finger to just go across to uh, straighten it out so you won't get too much uh, residue come out of the side. So first of all, we're going to take our red liner tape off. I'm going to place my quilling tool inside and then we're going to start quilling this round. So just letting that, I'm not doing it too tight to start with. You can see that's all the smaller petals that we've got here and I'm not shaping them either. We will do that as we go out the show because actually these petals really lend themselves to shaping with either your ball tool um, or even just the back of your scissors will work. Will work. So just quilling that, continue to keep going round and that then will create your beautiful baby yellow. You can see that's all starting to come to shape. But I want to make that a bit bigger. So I'm going to leave that on there. I'm then going to take my red liner tape off the next one. Now I'm not worried that I've got smaller leaves because what these are going to do, they're going to help to stand them out. And just where that one has left off, I'm going to start quilling that one round. Now these leaves, because they're quite, they've um, got little edges on them, you might find it a little bit harder to use use your quilling tool to turn. So I'm actually going to take that out and I'm going to just start using my hands to quill round because that way I can make sure as the sticky tape goes round I'm pressing it against there just to make sure that that's going to stick and adhere properly. And then keep turning so we're nearly done. Got an extra bit of red liner tape, red, the red, red back in there. So turning, turning and turning. Now you could go on and do another one but I'm just going to do the three and then all you do with that, I mean that looks gorgeous on its own but you just go into it and bring that out. You just push them down Look how beautiful they are. Now these papers are really good quality. What you can actually do is if you see like there's a little gap there, you can actually start to manipulate them and turn them in. So turn that one in, turn that one in. A little bit like filling in your Christmas tree. Absolutely, yes, it's exactly <laughs> like that. That's the best bit, isn't it? Organising the tree and getting it all ready. So, <laughs> and you'll love that with these dies that you can go. So I've got two that are completely overlapping there. I'm just gonna slightly move them out but look how beautiful that has then started to look it just looks incredible and looks amazing and you can see look at the two-tone colors that we've got there we've got the greens and the reds coming through from those paper pads and actually if you used a bit of your spray and sparkle you could have a little bit of sparkle on there as well and it would look amazing but I think you'll agree they're so easy to do and look really effective I just think it's incredible that it looks so realistic, but it really is, as you've shown, perfectly nice and easy as well, which is great. Let me just remind you that everything you can see right now on your screen is what you are getting your hands on. So please do feel free to seize the moment because, as I said, you have got that really great discount on all of it with the extra 5% off today. If you're looking at them and going, okay, Bex, well, I love the baby aloe, but I know that for me, Lily China maybe isn't, Lily China maybe isn't the one that I'm going to be getting my hands on. You can pick and choose from the individuals your favourite ones. So let me start off with your Lila China, if I may. Now, just to give you an idea of what these boards are, as you can see at the top there, that is what they will look like once you've run them through your die cutter. And then the ones underneath are as they will be when they're folded in on themselves. And remember, do fold them in towards each other. And then the ones on the base are the ones that will give you the finished product, if you will. So that's what you're going to be getting on these, just to let you know in case you are new. So these ones, again, your wonderful Lila China. We've then got your baby aloe so you've got that lovely baby aloe vera look this is the one that gives you those kind of spiky edges a little bit like this and what i wanted to show you this um 
kind of effect too because as you can see the different color palettes from the paper which you can get by itself give a really different feel don't they that is the exact same dye exact same technique but a really different feel due to those paper pads you've then also got your neon breakers now the neon breakers um I actually think you could, if you did a single layer of them, you know, maybe use a different colour paper, you could use these for a poinsettia, maybe for Christmas. I don't think they look too dissimilar, to be honest. So if you are thinking that far ahead, then this is great for you. We're bringing to you all of these ones. Again, it's just $9.99 with the extra 5% off, or it's $12.95 as well if you're in the US with the 5% off. I have a feeling that I would be using this one time and time and time again. This is the one for me and this is your jade. For me, when I'm looking at this, I think it's so versatile and usable because of the way you've got that sort of little paddle shape. For me as well, it almost looks a little bit, if you were to cut them up, um, like almost a cartoon style tree in the distance could look quite nice that you could use um, on your 3D artwork. We're bringing to you again all of those ones in the jade, $9.99 or $12.95 if you will. Now, this is the one that we have the first demonstration with, which is the sword grass. We mentioned earlier on, didn't we, that by itself, it looks fantastic. One of my craft ranges um, features heavily grass. It's one of my top selling from last year and the year before, actually. And it, it has a lot of grass work in it. I hand cut the grass. And in all honesty, um, it probably takes me about 25% of my time just to cut out the grass. This is something I have been missing. It's wonderful in this colour because it can give you that wonderful 3D sword grass finish. But as we said before, imagine something like these with maybe little daffodils in the background. It is May Bank Holiday on the 31st of May, isn't it, here in the UK? Um, 31st of May, May Bank Holiday. Imagine doing cards for people that you're loving and missing maybe with lovely flowers in the background or possibly if you wanted to be a little bit cutesy, you could do little bunnies peeping through or something like that. That is your sword grass for you today. And then last but not least, we have got the Merry Maiden. The Merry Maiden itself um, looks a little bit more genteel on the side, I would say, um, than the previous ones. So it's a little bit more of a genteel colour and again, would be great as a flower to use in other 3D designs. So that's them individually. If you do want them in the collection with the paper pad and the pot dye and the tape and the pokey tools, then this is how you do it. We're bringing all of that to you today. And as we've said, all of this that you see here makes these wonderful designs that we've got at the front. We have got the opportunity here to really create something to engage and something to raise smiles. And that's what a lot of you are saying on social. If you fancy a bit more inspiration, Debbie's got some things to inspire. Yeah, absolutely. I just adore this collection and you will too when you get it home because it just lends itself to so much. I love this collection that's got the plant pot in there because I think the plant pot is what you're going to be able to do the most with and it's beautiful. So you can see here we've created, well, who is created? Let's have a look. It's... Um, uh, oh, Leslie. Sorry, Leslie, I couldn't find your name there in your writing. But she's created this absolutely beautiful card. And look at that inside with that aperture. Having that pot plant at the bottom uh, and using all your flowers to decorate on the outside. That is spectacular. I absolutely love that. Uh, this is another great one. I mean, how fabulous is the detail in this plant pot? And I love the fact that it's had some extra bits put on the inside. So it looks like all the soil is on that pot which looks amazing and then we've got beautiful embossing folders on the on the show so you can see just using a little bit of the embossing behind here looks gorgeous but what about this one I mean how beautiful does that look it's really lovely just that embossing and then a few of the succulents uh, by the side which looks amazing and then the ter terrarium it is the terrarium is it not? terrarium, terrarium. Yes. I got it so right, yes. fashionable every time you say it it's like is that the right word but it is terrarium it is, it is terrarium. Uh, I love this. It looks absolutely
absolutely gorgeous. Just doing those inky backgrounds, putting some of those grasses down the side, looks amazing. And then another one of the other one, just into mirror card and surrounded with those beautiful baby aloes, look amazing. So absolutely beautiful collection uh, and good to use on your paper crafting. So even though we're showing you lots of samples where you can use them in all these uh, little pots and you can use them in the, um, I know Becky's got a wheelbarrow over there. Uh, these them. just look so amazing that you can do these and what a feature they would look like if you've got them in the house but it's great to know that you can also make cards out of them and send them to people and make just beautiful decorations. They really are fab and they're great too if someone does get you for example um, I got a little set that's not too dissimilar in size to the wheelbarrow actually of like bath bombs for Christmas and it's a lovely little shape thing and I'm thinking what can I do with it? Fill it with them, make it a little window box style design. Oh my imagination's going wild. Anyway if you do want to seize the moment on this all of the information is there at the side of your screen and again you can purchase those individually. The paper is very popular to say the least. I've got a big percentage of the stock gone on that. So I would say that if you do think that just one pad isn't going to be enough for you, then please do seize the moment on that because as I say, a big amount of that stock has gone. And we're going to be learning how to use more of the wonderful paper now with Debbie. Which one are we up to now? So we're going to be using, let's have a look. I'm going to be using, do you think, oh, the Neon Breaker. So uh, it's a lovely die, and what's nice about this one is it's got a nice uh, big space. And what I mean by big space, you can see these large little sort of leaves on them, so we can do a little bit of shaping on them. So again, I've picked some papers out of my pad, uh, and remember, the reason I say get another one, because these are great for all your leaves, your twigs, all your nature things that you make, uh, you can cut into these using all your other dies that you've got. They don't have to just be used for your quilling dies, they are amazing pads to have and you will find you'll get through them because you'll be able to create more and more of these so I'm just laying it onto this really pretty pink one we're going to pop that onto our Gemini and then we're going to run that through our machine so if you've got any questions um, let me know if there's anything you want to see or anything that we haven't covered um, just yeah let let Becky know and she can let me know and ask me all the questions but we're hoping to cover everything in this collection and show you just how to use them because they are quite amazing so any different shaping you want you could cut into them you could use scissors to snip with um, at the, the, the moment we're showing how you can use them um, sort of just as they simply are because they're so easy to do uh, and really great for all your crafting needs. Do you mind if I throw some questions at you now? Oh absolutely go ahead. Um, um, Alicia is asking, uh, Alicia, sorry, is asking about the baby aloe, saying mm -hmm. it's really pretty. Yep. Were the two quilled together? The, Did you quill them together? So I quilled one first and then we added another one um, to the outside as well. So you do quill them at the same time, but it doesn't mean like, so I've got one here, which I've just quilled one round. You can see the difference. This one is one, you can see, and look yep. at the size when we do two. And all you would do, uh, let's pretend this was one of them. Once you folded it in half, you then just start again quilling round that one. Thank and you, you can put that. as many as you want. I mean, you could make that into quite a big flower and it would be, look beautiful in a little plant pot yeah. uh, and keep for such a long time you could even spray it or actually add some varnish onto it and it would keep it for ages absolutely yeah, ages. that's a great idea but yeah, so uh, you don't need to quill them together, just quill them um, each time so what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to bring in my ball tools I'm going to bring in my ball tools and we're just going to use them to shape into here. And all I'm using is my, um, I'm going to turn it over. The reason I turn it over, because look, it's very dirty, oh, this that's one. Loved, but it's it? just our stamping mat. And I just wanted you to see that by using these ball tools, we can really shape these. So we can do one side going one way. Let's just do those smaller ones. 
And then I'm going to turn it over and do the ones going the opposite side. Because what we're going to then do is when we use our um, middle section where it's perforated, that will fold those together. But it really adds that beautiful texture. Now, because I've used this lighter colour as well, what I am going to do, I'm going to bring in um, an orange. So this is just our Harmony Ink Pads, Water Reactive Ink Pads. I'm going to grab myself a dauber. And then all I'm going to do is go round these edges to just add some more highlight. So even though I've got that beautiful ombre, I just want to bring in that colour a little bit more. So we're just going to add our daubers and inks to the edges. And orange just tends to work really well with this colour pad. It's almost got that sort of vintage um, pink. Um, like an antique pink onto it. So you can see the difference there and it really highlights them. So just put in some more onto this one. And you could do it both sides if you want, but I'm not going to worry too much because I just want them to have that sort of graduation and not lose the colour that's already on those strips. So popping it down. I'd love to see any pictures as well, Becky, if anyone's actually Ooh, crafted yeah. with the collection. Yeah, do send them in. And you can send them in studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. So do feel free to send them in there. We'd love to see, definitely. Mm, absolutely. So there we go, popping that on. I'm going to just uh, pop my... Uh, mat to the side and then bring in my red liner tape again and then we're going to pop that onto the end oh sharon callis has messaged in ah oh, so she is oh. i had a feeling she would try and watch if she could yeah she's saying hi debbie and becky i'm gutted i couldn't be with you today yes us too we're gutted too. Yeah, um, thank you all for the well wishes and special thank you to the nurses and staff at Our Lady of Lord's Hospital who are taking great care of me and um, some are watching live with me now. And oh, we're absolutely gutted also that you can't be here. Obviously, please do get well really, really soon. And um, it's lovely that you're sending love to everyone. We're all sending love back. Get your messages in for Sharon. Let her know how fabulous you know she is. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. And uh, a big thank you, yes, to the nurses at the hospital. So yes. uh, lovely that you're looking after our Sharon. So look how beautiful that has transformed this dye. And we've just done something slightly different by creating those leaves. What I'm going to do is just bring in one that we show, which I've already done. So this one I created, but I didn't shape the leaves. So we can bring this out. And then all you do with this one is you just manoeuvre the actual flower petals about and that will create your really gorgeous succulent. So just create in two different ways and just spend a bit of time. Like I say, you've got a lot of movement in these pads so you can just place these where you want to. So you've got that flower there and then you've got the one that we've created using those different. So you just decide if you want to make it easier or a little bit more to it. So uh, yeah, but both look just as gorgeous. So just two different ways of doing them. And that works the same way. If you was to uh, do another one, you could make a bigger flower as well, which, uh, which is really, really beautiful. And there you go. It's just sublime. <laughs> we have got so many people messaging in saying i know it's paper but i cannot believe it's paper and that's the thing it just looks sensational honestly i've just got message after message after message i've got some questions for you and we will get to them and um, they are just truly wonderful this is lower in stock now than we would maybe like at this point of the show. You have still got chance, so do still get involved. But this is what is currently on your screen. It is £57.33, but today and today only, you will get that extra 5% off. So it's well worth making the most of if you want to treat yourself, but also get a bit of a bargain. There is the larger collection also, and I'm going to go through everything that you're getting now. 
So, you are going to get the wonderful elements and succulent dyes, but you're going to get extras as well. So, this is everything that you are going to get in here. And this is a serious collection. This is going to take you through from very simple makes to more complex makes, but also you're going to be able to finish and finesse them with all of the extras. So, you are getting these six different succulents, as you can see there. Those those are the die cutters, exactly what Debbie has been using. But you're also going to be getting added extras. For example, the plant pot poke. So these are the ones, it's for you to say, um, these are the ones that, if you have a look here, um, you it's almost like the naming label, let's say, um, for when you're sectioning out your garden so you can use these you could write maybe well wishes on I really like the idea of this being on a card and that being the person's name I think that's lovely so you've got that one um great again for flower designs and so much more you've also got the succulent themselves so this is to help you make that lovely stamping technique you've got that um terrarium um within there you've got the floor rules within there you've got a massive amount included well as this you're getting the wire trellis so when you're thinking of your trellis you've got that patination that trees and plants can grow up um, so if you if you follow me on social media which is uh, Rebecca Redican CC you'll know that uh, one of my trellises has collapsed recently in and it's it's and it's it's one that I built myself. It has it, he was called Sir Plants a lot, and he is the shape of a knight. And the winds have completely thrown him over, bless him. So I'm going to be gluing him back together very soon. But yeah, this is your trellis. So it gives you that wonderful texture and background. And again, it's going to what I really like about this one. Sorry, is the actual shaping of it and almost the motif in it is mimicked in the motif of the terrarium stamp. So these again are the stamps. Terrariums, as I'm sure you'll know, I'll just show you on the back there as well. You'll have seen these absolutely everywhere. Over the last couple of years, you cannot move in high fashion shops for seeing them. They're a great way to keep succulents, but I know that people have used them for photography and loads more. So you're getting those ones as well. Then you're getting your succulent frame. I really like this one because of you're getting all of the textures of all of the succulents within there. It feels edgy, it feels modern. And again, you know, we were talking about the lovely Sharon Callas before and saying how you can really tell that she herself, you know, is um, someone who, you know, blogs and writes about and, and is very active in drawing, sketching, illustrating and card making. You can see that with this because this is the kind of design that you wish you could draw. But if you're anything like me, you couldn't. So the job is done here for you by the wonderful Sharon. And this is that stamp again. And then last but by no means least for this collection, you're getting the garden frame. This is a five by seven again. And this has got that wonderful circular frame design. If I just show you, you're getting the circular frame and then you're getting these blooms on the other side, which is again, adding that little bit of texture. But I love the idea of using this with so many different pieces and designs. And because the actual um, space in some of these ones is quite large, great for your paper piece in as well. So all of that you're going to be getting, again, should be over 118 pounds, but actually, Today, you're getting it for £77 with the extra percent off. You're going to be getting it for £73.15. If you are brand new, it's your first order today, you get an extra 20% off or if you're platinum. So actually, you're getting £118 worth of products for just over £58. It's a corker. So do seize the moment whilst you can now. The thing you're not getting in there is the paper pad that's what you're not going to get in there and this is what we have used to make stunning designs such as this all of that texture all of that ombre effect all of the realism that you can create is being helped massively 
by the wonderful paper pad itself. So this is what Debbie's been using. This is what you'll be likely to use. You can multi-buy on these to your heart's content. It is $5.99 or $7.95. Do feel free to seize the moment on those ones because again, you're getting the 5% off today and today only. Should we carry on crafting? Let's do it. Which one are we on next please, Debbie? So I thought we'd switch a little bit and show some other things that are in the collection because honestly, there is tons more that we still have to get through. So we're gonna go through some of the embossing folders and some of the extra dies that you get as well. So in the big collection, you're gonna find these beautiful embossing folders, which are gonna really lend themselves into using with all these ones. And if I just bring this in, you can't see a lot of it, but if you look down the center, you actually have that embossing folder in the background. And it makes such a difference just to have a focal point, not only with your floor foliage that's going on but also that background as well so I'm going to pop that to the side we are going to run this through but first of all I'm going to ink some of my cards so I'm just using my spring meadow and I'm going to use our pal fig and our pink tulip so they're the three in three ink pads that we're going to be using just to create that beautiful background it's one of my favourites, this Spring Meadow one, because it's a really joyful colour, it's bright, it's gorgeous. Almost got a sort of lemony, zesty sort of side to it as well. Yeah. So just bringing that in, making sure I've got plenty of my ink pads on there. And then what I'm going to do, that's my um, Spring Meadow, we're then going to bring in our Pal Fig and do that as our centre center one. So I'm using quite pale colours. That's a lovely combo, that. Yeah, they look really beautiful, don't they, together? We actually had on some Dreamies paper yesterday, and one of them was the Delicate Daisies, and that ah. is the colour palette in it. Oh, wow. So that would look brilliant together. Yeah, really lovely. And talking about Dreamies, we do have on the show today their um, Sizal and Moss bundle, yes. which is amazing. You definitely want to shop ahead for that because it really does work so well with Sharon's collection. And we'll go into more detail with that later. We'll show you exactly what you're getting, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And then is. our last one we're going to use, I'm going to just take off my ink pad there and we're going to bring in our pink tulip. So just making sure I'm just inking that up to use that pink at the bottom. So keeping it nice and simple, because what we are going to do, we're going to emboss this, Great. and then we're going to bring in some gilding wax on the top as well. Oh, I love so gilding gonna, wax. Yeah, me too. Oh, you're speaking it's my language. <laughs> We've got so many questions in for you. Just whilst you're doing that, can I throw them Oh, yeah, you? absolutely. Um, Jane has said, can you use foam sheets? And what we mean by that is with the flowering form foam. Oh, absolutely. What a brilliant idea yes their ideas that they come through and i think why didn't i think of that <laughs> that's a brilliant idea they would work so well um yeah and you would be able to uh, really manipulate them with the heat that would be amazing evelyn's asked she says um, i've seen a couple of demos of this collection now um but i've not seen the pot cut out could we have a little chat about that later maybe oh well in fact it's it, i'm gonna do the pot as well i've got it literally at hand so i think you must have read my mind uh, we're gonna <laughs> because we're going to do a little bit of uh, cutting the pot and showing how we can emboss it to get some texture Perfect. as well. Thank you. So we've, uh, these are 2D embossing folders. All we need is our bottom cutting plate and our top cutting plate and sandwich it between both of them. Uh, I've got my Gemini, but obviously my Gemini Junior plates, it just means that it's going to take me eight seconds instead of sort of um, 16, 18 seconds uh, for my bigger plates. So that's going to emboss those. Now, when you're colouring your card, when it comes out, although you can see and feel the embossing, it's not as dramatic as if you add that extra bit of gilding wax over the top. So I'm just going to bring my gilding wax in. So I'm just using King Gold. And we're going to just dab some on my finger. But as you can see, I'm taking it off at the same time. And then we're just going to very lightly just tickle the surface of our card because I don't want it to take away the colour that we've done but I do want to give it that little extra um, sort of just gorgeousness inside. 
Yeah, and it sort of juxtaposes it a little bit more, but also does give that wonderful metallicised edge, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I love that word, Becky, metallicised. <laughs> So there we go, just lightly. And it's always better, less is more, as we say with uh, gilding wax. If you put a big blob on, uh, it's just going to ruin your design. So you want to just wipe it, wipe it on and wipe it off and then just build it up. That's always the best way to do that. And you'll see it a little bit better when I've done it and then we can... Uh, show you the finished one whilst you're doing that then i'll read out some more messages oh, yes we have absolutely. had so many of them Beth oh i saying, love that these are so so realistic um michelle is saying these would be a great gift for mother's day and anyone who loves flowers yeah totally, totally agree with that we've had a message in um this is my pronunciation of a name it's aisha becky everyone has a learning curve I will try and remember that, but I will be honest, I am dyslexic and therefore I probably will forget by about 10 <laughs> minutes. And if I do read out any Michaels, but actually your name's Michelle, I apologise <laughs> in advance. Um, hello to Rose, who says, how awesome that these strips turn into magnificent flowers or succulents. I know, it's yeah. like magic, isn't it? It, it is it like magic, is. yeah, exactly. Evelyn is saying, I have glass baubles hanging in my window and we'll use these succulents oh, to fill yes. them. Yes. How amazing would that be? That's yeah, such absolutely. a great idea. And you can buy glass baubles that have like plastic succulents in them. But, you know, as we said before, this is paper. So you can change the colour, you can reuse them, you can recycle them if you do want to change the colour. So yes, I love that idea. Do keep your messages coming in on our socials. We do love to hear from you. You're getting buff there, aren't you, Debbie? Yeah, the reason I buff, and I always do buff, is because once you buff, it makes it, it won't come off. So you'll get nothing then. So I've got nothing on my hands. I can run my hand over that and get nothing on my hand. So buffing is really good. It also shines it up. So you sort of catch that Magical. in the light there where it goes in. So that's one way of doing your embossing and creating that beautiful background that you can see we're going to pop inside our card at the end. Fab. So popping that to the side. So next I wanted to show those dies um, because there's a collection of dies which are really great. What they're great for for. I love this one. So the plant pot poke is an amazing one if you do like little buffets and stuff. This is a brilliant one to pop in your sandwiches. Um, to Different put... types of cheese. Absolutely. You can use that for that. It's just great. a really nice, great idea to use. So I absolutely love that one. But it's also really good is if you do do gardening at home and you actually make your little seedlings and you grow your seedlings, you can use one of these. You can actually sellotape the, uh, the rim pop it in your pot so you know what everything great. is when they're in there so it's a really usable dye that one this one as well is great because you've also then got this is the same thing do you know you get those little plastic um, wrap arounds on plants mm -hmm. it's like your little uh, strip that you can put into your plants yeah, which is tie. amazing you could cut this out of upo paper because that's plastic and you'd be able that would be weatherproof as well so you could then put them onto all your plants outside so I'm talking about real plants real stuff in the garden which is amazing mm. uh, so that's a really great one but the pot is just I mean look at the size of it it's a huge pot which is lovely it means you can fill it with so many different things so if you've had just our normal quilling flowers in the past Sharon's quilling flowers in the past she's done her butterflies and blooms that would go lovely with this pot as well so this is the one if you've got any of the other collection and not the pot just go for that individual with one of the paper pads as well and you're sorted for the rest of the year with making your flowers and beautiful designs right. so we're going to cut one of these out so I'm just going to bring in my junior boards find my other ones pop that in nice and easy I'm sort of using a grey piece of card out of one of our 12 by 12 pads so just one of my scraps that were in uh, my scrap box which we've all got which is good with dies like this uh, just running that through. So the plant pot itself is just great to use on its own. But what about embossing it? Because we've got these beautiful embossing folders on the show. So really nice to be able to add that interest as well as just cutting the uh, pot. So I'm just going to reach over and find one of my other ones. So I'm going to use uh, the Geo Wire Trellis. Uh, I love the design on this. I think you could use this for so many different things. It really lends itself. Uh, it's got that beautiful 
beautiful zigzag edge. I love the fact that you could actually cut these out when you emboss them and have them wrapped around your pot as well, which would look really good. But what I am actually going to do is I only want the bottom part embossed. So I'm just going to use the bottom of my die to go underneath. You could do it either way. So you could do it this way or this way. All I'm going to see is where that line is, I'm going to make sure that we go just below that and I'm just bringing it across because obviously we've just got Sharon Callas crafts written on there so I'm making sure that we've got that across there and then I can send this now through my Gemini so again I'm using my top and bottom plates I'm hoping we can yes that will fit in there so I because I'm putting it the opposite way through my Gemini instead of going front way through it will go at the side so just making sure that goes through and then just top and bottom plates running that through and it takes eight seven eight seconds and we've got a beautiful embossed pot so pulling this one off I mean look how different that now looks I mean, such a beautiful design. You could use your gilding wax on there as well. And then if I just bring in this one here, wrap some just twine and some ribbon Aww. around there, and we've got a beautiful pot, which hopefully we'll have time, we'll put that together on a card and add some of the flowers that we've made as well. Great. So really lovely designs. But yeah, great to have the full collection. So if you can go for it, uh, definitely go for the one with the pots and the uh, uh, embossing folders in them as well. <laughs> What I love about when you emboss that then is it made it look like something I would walk into the likes of a John Lewis and see. Yeah, it really absolutely. took it to another level. Yeah, it totally does. They do look amazing, don't they? Yeah, just really incredible. Yeah, love that little pot embossed. <laughs> so you have got your hands on these treats and if you haven't as yet they are still available what's on your screen right now is all of the things you've just looked at including the wonderful die cutters themselves of the different succulents so you have got within all of this the treats that you need if you want your tape your pokey tool your paper that is what is in on your screen right now it's 57 pounds 33 or is it? Well, it's not really because it's an extra 5% off for you today. So well worth you treating yourself to that. If you want to grab it, you know what to do. And if you do grab these today, remember you're going to not only be making a saving, you're also going to be making up some points. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. You're saving money and you're making points. Win, win, win. If you've just tuned in, oh wow, what a show this is. This for me is one of those shows that takes 
let's say, a standard paper crafting and almost makes you realise just how incredible paper is, which if you're new and if you think back to when you started, you might have thought paper craft was just a simple cut out and stick. And sometimes it is and that looks fabulous, but now you know that you can do so much more. And if you are new, this is a really cool show for you to get involved with. We are here with the wonderful Debbie who has been whipping up a storm and has got loads more demos for us. But just in case you have just tuned in quickly, I will run through again what we have got on your screen right now. On your screen at this moment in time is this beautiful collection created by the fabulous Sharon Callis, who we wish could be in with us. We're wishing her well. She um, will be with us as soon as she can, I'm absolutely sure. We have got a collection created by her. And as we said before, when you're looking at these, you can see just how much she absolutely loves and adores this type of medium. And remember, Sharon Callis, you know, has been in magazines, she's been um, in eBooks. You know, this is something which is obviously a love and a passion for her. And I think you can sense that passion when you look at this. If you're looking at these makes and thinking, I want to create them Bex? Well, now you can. You're getting a big selection of your different dyes in this. You're also getting the paper pad that gives you the ombre colour and you're going to be getting the beautiful poke tools which are always useful and you're going to be getting the glue tape in this as well. These are your wonderful makes. We've got your Lila China here first. This one's got the lovely doming to the edge of them. And um, from my memory, the word Lila or the name Lila means play um, and spontaneous. Um, Lila, it is Lila, yeah, play and spontaneous. And I do actually think um, the fact that you can move the wonderful leaves on them, if you will, you can almost make them feel quite spontaneous as well. So that's your Lila China. As well as that in the collection too, you get in your baby aloe. You're getting this wonderful cactus-like feel and it is baby aloe, so an aloe vera. And a lot of people, um, I was just thinking then actually, one of my friends has a brand whereby she makes sort of, um, she makes and sells body lotions and things like that. Aloe vera is a really good one for that, isn't it? Very nourishing and good for you. So if you've got anyone who maybe works with or sells or likes to wear aloe vera, this could be a good one for them. Anyway, we've also got for you your Neon Breaker. Lovely texture on these. We've had the demo with these earlier on. Um, and again, it's got that lovely um, delicacy to it, but nice large spaces on that one too. We've also got your Jade here. The Jade is giving you this really lovely 3D effect. I think it has a real magnitude of uses this, so do seize the moment if you love it. As well as that, I have your sword grass, which for me is just usable, usable, usable. You can do one by itself, like is so, or of course you could get them and layer them up. You could do pipo designs with these ones. I like the idea of this on acetate, maybe. Maybe you could put some family photos behind it, have this on the front of acetates and almost have it as if your family's kind of peeking through. Uh, that'd look really cute. Also, it'd be very good on your um, I call them foldable books, but what are they actually? When you have uh, pages that are back to back, I've forgotten what they mean, and they're in a linear line, almost like you're looking into a box frame. Can't remember the word now. Uh, but Diorama. Yeah, you could do. It would be good for a diorama too. <laughs> uh, you could use it on something like that, couldn't you? And then we have also got your Merry Maiden, which to me looks a lot like some I know is a um, treehouse le uh, uh, tree house leak, uh, which is. Actually, it might be the same thing. I want to research that. But yes, um, it's your Merry Maiden, or if you wanted to do a treehouse leak, then you absolutely could. All of those succulents, and you're getting the plant pot, which the dye, which we've just seen Debbie use. You're getting the papers, 30 pages there for you. Tape pen and the pokey tools, plural. All of that today, your price is on screen. A great discount on that one with the extra 5%. 
You have got some lovely inspiration there, just to show a few of the makes with this. Yeah, I can't help it. I've got to show you them because they are so beautiful. And it's just having that inspiration, as Becky said, to just do different things with them, to have the confidence to create such different effects in what you're making. Making cars, these are almost like um, grungy flowers, aren't they, succulents? They're almost got that sort of grunge yeah, feel to them. Edgy, yeah. Yeah, they have got that edge to them. But look, adding oh. those beautiful blues and embossing the leaves on here looks so gorgeous and work really well with those embossing folders. Really making them sort of really bunchy, looking like you've got something really special there. These would be great for like vintage wedding cards because there's a lot of people now that have these festival weddings mm. uh, and they would be great to do them with. So lots of different ways of being able to do them. So we've gone through quite a few of the actual um, succulents themselves and there is one that is slightly different so just in case anyone's got these at home and they wasn't quite sure how it works um, these are very clever so this one here is the jade, the jade. and the jade is the, the only one that's different which has got you can see it's slightly different here uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out to show you so I've got a piece of that car that beautiful I mean this one's gorgeous you've got that gorgeous green and that sort of ombre burgundy at the side so we're going to cut that through and actually what I haven't done, I've been putting these through on my large uh, Gemini plates, but I'm pretty sure we can, yeah, they will fit on our Junior. Uh, they will also fit through your Gemini Go and your Gemini Mini and your MIDI. So uh, whatever die cutting machine you've got, uh, you'll be able to fit them through uh, using these dies, which will be amazing. Especially your Gemini uh, Mini, because uh, you'd have that through in seconds, so yeah. it would be ideal. Let's pop that out and then we've got our beautiful jade. So with the jade, oh, I wasn't very clever when I took my dye out. I've lost some of my leaves, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Have I got another one that's cut out? Probably not. Oh, I have. It's just in a different one. So let's just switch that over. That was me just pulling the dye away without tapping that out first. That was all. Uh, so just be careful when you're taking these out. So what you then need to do is you fold it in half. So you, although you've got these extra score lines, mm -hmm you still do just fold that in half because what that then does it gives you a track that you put your red liner tape on or your um, tacky glue whatever you're using instead of using the bottom one you use the top one to put your tape so I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to place that onto the top part is this your three mil again Three mil again, yes. It's the one I always use for, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have some on the website um, or if you haven't got any at home. And like I say, you can use tacky glue um, and you can use the uh, red light, the, sorry, the glue pen that we've, you've got in the bundle. Yes. Um, but this one you probably do need because you don't need to put your glue on this bottom strip here. Now the reason being is when you, I'm going to pop this into my quilling tool. When you quill this one, uh, I'm doing well getting this in because I haven't got my glasses on. So as you quill it round, instead of quilling it so it lines up, yes. you actually quill it to the side. Uh, you know what, I've done this, have I done it the right angle it the other way so yeah, it goes down. That's it, downwards. Uh, I was thinking I'd put the tape on the wrong side then. So as this top one comes, you want to go down onto the bottom one. So as you wrap that round, it'll start to turn and you angle that down, there we go. And as that angles down, that bottom strip goes on, the top strip where the glue is, sticks to the bottom strip. And then as it comes down, it means that the flower almost goes upwards. Super so. duper 3D, isn't it? Yeah, glowing, it's amazing. Glowing. Yeah. And that's all you need to know is just to put the glue on the top and stick it onto the bottom part. And then when you take that off, I mean, look at that. That looks amazing. You've got that jade plant in that beautiful um, sort of stem that goes up. And it's exactly how your jade should be. If you go and look at any of your cacti with that jade, that's exactly how it is. I mean, that's incredible that a dye does that. And that's another one that we can then add. So if we bring in all these that we've done so far, and we're going to do another grass one to show that so we've got them. But look at all these different ones that we've got. And we're going to be putting all these into a card before the end of the show. How exciting. <laughs> they just look brilliant.
They really, really, truly do. Absolutely. And even just by showing the jade in the different colours, it has a really unique look, doesn't it? We would love to see your pictures. If you are crafting along, now is your time to send them in. Even if you've already got this set you've made with them before, get them posted into us right now. This is how you can email us, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. And if you would like to send us any messages, you can do so on our social medias, including our YouTube page. Your info is all down there. So if you do have any questions, if you'd like, you know, we've got, uh, what, about 50 minutes left together for this time. So if you do have anything you would like to see, do feel free to message them on in. What's next up, Debbie? Right, so I'm going to bring in, we've got the um, the succulents. I'm pretty sure, we've got the succulents in one of the... Yes, it is in the large collection. I just wanted to check. So um, with the succulents, I love this one. This is the one that you're going to use with everything else other than this collection because it's the ones, my cellar tape of the package is stuck to the actual packaging. There we go. Um, so what they will do is add, it doesn't want to come out. Let's take it one at a time. It's because the <laughs> took it out. There we go. So you can see that's stuck to that's the bit that's stuck to my box inside. So what these do, these give us. I'm going to bring in some uh, card. In fact, let's do this the opposite way. Pop that one on there. That one on there. Turn that one round. There we go. So what this one does, it gives us all these beautiful stamp designs, but it also allows us to cut them all out. So having these leaves that we can stamp, having these flowers that we can cut out as well. And then it's got all your different notes that you've got in there. So you've got stuck on you, sorry for being, sorry for being proud, does that say? I'm sure it doesn't say that. I've got Prickly. <laughs> Prickly, I was going to say, you've got quick glasses on, bless. I should be reading them for you, I'm sorry. Isn't it like proud? I thought, why would you be sorry to be proud? <laughs> it's because I haven't got my glasses on, but you've got some really lovely sentiments on there. So sorry for being prickly. I mean, how good is that for a sorry card? I'm rooting for you. I like that one as it's well. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, so lots of really nice, uh, and it's got, is that an aloe one? Aloe, you lots. <laughs> Adorable. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our plant pot poke uh, and we're going to give, yeah, I'm, I'm very, uh, George is just telling me well, I give lots of uh, bloopers. I am very good at bloopers, but yes, the, my famous one is the glooper, uh, where I had a, a glooper blooper. A glooper blooper. <laughs> Yeah, it's just... It sounds um, utterly bizarre. I'm, it I'm, was, yeah, it was. Yeah. I was doing glue school, yes, and, um, yeah, I, I just couldn't get my word right, my wording right, yes. <laughs> and then it become just a giggle fest, really. Love so. that. <laughs> right, so this time what we're going to do, what's great about this one, so the plant pot poke comes with that poke, but it also comes with a little sign that you can cut out and then you can use your sentiments to put whatever you want on top of there. Right, so we're going to cut those out to start with. And that's what I love about this. I love collections that you can really play with. You could do so much with. It has so much versatility. Uh, and then your ideas just flow again and again and again. And yeah. the more you work with it, the more you'll come up with different things that you can uh, actually uh, develop with these, that's which is great. so amazing. Just whilst you're cutting that out, Beth did message in actually about that die and mm -hmm. just said, would the sign die work with chipboard? Um, I don't, th I think it would be, because it's a thin metal die, so I wouldn't say it would work with, um, I mean, I would, I always say, try it. So chipboard and mount board are probably pretty much similar in there. It might work with um, balsa wood. Yes. But balsa wood's quite a soft wood, so if it was something that you wanted to put in the garden, I think it would just expand because it would grab the water. I'm wondering if you could use it with the cork fabric that oh, yeah, I had cork, earlier yes. on. Like cork yeah, yeah, yeah. could be quite good for it. And yeah. then obviously you could seal it with a with a hardener, couldn't you? Maybe. Or resin onto it would be great too. So what I would probably say is give it a try because the Gemini doesn't like it and it doesn't cut. The worst that's going to happen is the dye itself is just going to lay inside the mount board or the chip board. But if you cut it a few times, it might actually go, or oh, what it will do actually 
which is a good idea. It will cut down to the depth of it, it just might not cut all the way through. You could then use your craft knife oh, uh, and great. go around it because you've already got that indentation or that first cut line Perfect. and you could then just cut it out after that. So yeah, everything is worth a try. Okay, so we've got our two bits here. Let's use one of our sentiments. So uh, let's put, there we go. Let's have this one out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm giggling to myself. Yeah, I was here. thinking that then. Yeah, we've Guardians had, of the Galaxy. We've just had a, a, a picture sent in. We'll show you it in a moment. And my producer's just gone, oh, it's got Groot in it. <laughs> and my director's gone, Groot from Guardians and the Galaxy. And I'm thinking, how many Groots does George know? <laughs> <laughs> no, Groot from down the road. You know, from the Black Swan. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> we'll have a nosy at that in a minute. Absolutely. Oh, please send pictures in. If you've done anything with this collection, it would be lovely to see it. Sharon, if you're still watching, have you got any photos on your phone of any uh, anything that you've done Ooh, with it? Oh, if you do, do message Although I know you're poorly, so, so if, yeah. you, if you don't do that, it's uh, not an issue. We just want you to get better. Definitely. So, oh, it still is upside down. There we go. I can't really see it very well, but... Is that because you've not got your glasses on? Yes, I'm terrible, but I've actually, I'm not stamped that very well as well, but you've got Allo you lots. So uh, we'll pop that to the side. We can pop that onto here. What I should have done is stamped it on my magnetic ball, which I like to use, because that uh, I could have then re-stamped it again. But that's not a problem. We can just re-stamp that another time. So that makes this piece. And then what we are going to do is we're going to use one of these. We're going to use this one. Um, and just bring out this because we can actually use our stamps to stamp on top. This paper is really good for doing that. Uh, just bringing in my red liner tape, uh, sorry, my uh, tape pen. So you will get, if you haven't tried our tape pen and you've gone for the smaller collection, you will get one of these in there and it will be amazing. You'll love it. We have just had a um, picture sent in and you've forgotten your name. I mean, you've not forgotten it, you've just forgotten to send it in. If you do want to send it in, please do, otherwise you will be known as Mystery Crafter. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this time, just because I don't want to miss stamp, we will just pop our piece of card onto my magnetic platform. Do we have one of these on? Second Chance Sunday? Or yes, sold we out? do. No, I think we have them on later on. Oh, yes. hey up. Hey up. And then what I'm going to do is just stamp out some of these. We have got one of these stamp boards tonight mm. on the show that starts at seven in UK time. Yeah, uh, I love them. It's my favourite thing ever. This is the one that Debbie's using now, the stamping board. So let's just bring my ink back in again. So I'm just using our flagstone. It doesn't matter, because I'm not colouring anything in, it doesn't matter whether you use our alcohol proof or our water resistant. So just tapping that on, pushing that down. And then I'm just going to re-stamp that again, which is what I could have done with the, um, the aloe you lots. Pop that on and stamp that back down. And there we go, and that brings that out beautifully. So I will keep these scraps so you could end up stamping on all of these. What's, what's nice about these is when you cut them out, you have that rim around them. So if I bring this in, you'll be able to see, I'm pretty sure it's that one. So that will cut around there. And then our other one, which is this one. And we'll just send those through and cut those out. But they just create even more interest on what you've got on any project that you're doing. Pop that to the side. And then I'm just going to bring in my low tech tape, just so we know that that goes or stays in place. So making sure I've got everything in there. All your little sort of seedlings, if you want at the edge, you can see that they fit perfectly there. Pop that in and then we can run that through. So nice and easy. This is the sort of set that you will end up playing with all day and the, hu the hubby or the wife will come in from, um, from work and you'll still be in your craft room and they'll be saying, where's dinner? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I've been making succulents all day. <laughs> Let's pop those out. 
and then that creates beautiful, I mean, look how gorgeous they look. So you've got then your stamps and your die cuts all in one. So that's a really good step to go for. So again, they're the ones that we will be adding to our card at the end. And there we go. And then we'll cut a few more out and then start putting our card together soon. I'm excited. I love seeing all of these things come together. So if you do want to seize the moment, you've just seen using the lovely stamps and using the uh, pokey um, die and other elements, then it's in the big pack for you. Let me just remind you of everything quickly that you are getting in here. So we're going to be getting some wonderful embossing folders, including the lights of terrarium. Someone had a great idea for this before. Hang on, who was it? Da, 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 da. Um, I'm so sorry, I can't find it now. But someone mentioned earlier on that this could be really good if you were to cut it out and use it with some acetate and actually make it almost like a sort of terrarium look. That'd look brilliant. I'm so sorry, I can't find your name now, but you know it's you and I think you've a fabulous idea. Um, we have also got the border here with that lovely circular design, the flowers at the bottom. We saw that on a make earlier on. You've got the succulent frame in here, so that's going to give you that texture. Um, this is what Debbie used earlier on with the gilding wax. We are bringing to you the succulent back as well. That one comes with, is the one that Debbie's literally just this moment used. That's with your sentiments, with your stamps, and of course with the matching dies. These ones are the plant pot poke um, that you get in. You get that wonderful piece to fit perfectly inside, but of course you could use either alone. And then finally the embossing pad itself. And let me just remind you that the likes of this embossing pad, as with the others, they're all really well thought out by the wonderful Sharon. You can see a lot of these are sort of mimicked across. And one thing I would say with this one is that this texture is mimicked in these die, but also in one of these stamps. Does anyone uh, play Sims? Yeah. You used to about 20 years ago, Georgina. Did you? you don't look old enough. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Sims lover. You know, they have that <laughs> little shape above their head. You've got that in here. You could use it for loads of different things. But yeah, it all ties in perfectly together. It really does. We have got all of those, but we've also, in the large collection, got the succulents themselves. Oh, sorry, that was louder than I expected it to be. So we've got the Lila China. We have also got for you Fiori, the uh, wonderful ne baby aloe. We've got the Neon Breaker. I've got to show you this one. Look how lovely the Neon Breaker is in that darker colour. I think this looks like it could be a flower. Look at that though. Just looks wonderful. So you're getting that in there. You've also got the Jade, uh, which we saw made up earlier on. That's the lovely 3D one. Then we're bringing to you the sword grass this got great texture let me just pull this across if you don't mind but this is the one you can see has been used here with the poke tool the, the 3d framing you see that lovely 3d grass in this design it gives it a really special effect doesn't it and again it gives it a lot of height which of course as you know as a crafter yourself you'll know that height often can make it look really professional so that's a great one to have and then you've also got your merry maiden as well which has got um, a floral feel to it as well if you want to grab this and you love the colours that really do tie them in together, but of course kind of mimic the actual succulents themselves, then you can grab the paper pad as well. And we can bring this to you on its own if you so wish. The info is on screen right now. This is just a display of the colours you're getting. You are going to get 30 pieces in total. And just to give you an idea of your colours and also to let you know that... Um, one thing that is worth a mention, you've got the sort of double sides on a lot of these. So we're bringing to you a big range of colours in here to give you that realism to your designs. We have been sent through some pictures. I'm so excited to see these. I love knowing what you've been making. We've got Mystery Crafter first, who I imagine has got sort of, I don't know, a twirling moustache. Uh, <laughs> don't know why. Uh, just something I thought. Mystery Crafter, wow! Oh, I love that. And I love the design you've done on the plant pot. I'm saying doing that embossing on there makes such a difference they are beautiful I absolutely love that it's so striking isn't it what you can do with these with the uh, succulents 
I think the colour palette you've gone for there is really pretty as well. Actually, if you maybe put sort of a stamen in the middle of them, they could look like flowers. You could do them as mm. a bunch of flowers. I love that mystery crafter. You're fabulous. Thank you for sending that in. We've now got one in from <laughs> Tammy. I love that. Tammy, this is the baby Groot. Oh, that's so adorable. It's amazing. But look at the hair on that doll. It's beautiful. I love seeing different things. I love the Groot. It looks amazing. But both of them, just ingenious. I quite like the idea of um, maybe copying some of these and possibly um you know sealing them in a way and you could actually have them on a fascinator couldn't you you could use them with you know fabrics cross grain etc and actually have them as mm. like a hat upcycle oh absolutely oh, oh i love it thank you so much for sending those in if you are watching and you have been inspired well we've got even more inspiration to come but if you don't know yet if it's your first order you get 20 percent off oh yeah oh yeah actually get an extra 5% off it for everyone today. It's the final day of it. So if you are brand new, don't know how on earth to shop with us, but you know you need to, this is how you do it. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. I hope you are having a beautiful day today, wherever you are. And if you need a little bit of a spring in your step, then this definitely could be for you, the succulent collection. We have got more demonstrations coming up. I know that some of you have been asking about the added extra textures with the moss, etc. They're coming up for you later on today. They are available to shop now, though, if you wish. Keep those messages coming. I found out who the uh, mystery crafter is. I wish I could say it's because I'm a very good detective, but it's not. She just messaged in. It's June Selfskick, possibly. Um, it's you, June. She says, oh, sorry. I'm the mystery crafter. So fun to see my card. June, it's absolutely beautiful. A great job to you. Um, apparently, June is crafting along, so you got a little bit distracted. Do not worry. We understand that. And it, it's quite nice to get distracted when you're watching a show like this because if you get distracted when you're watching like Coronation Street to write pain, but with this you can craft along. So I'm glad you're having a great time, June. We have got loads more to learn. So I'm going to head back on over to Debbie. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we've got only two more of the succulents that we haven't shown. So I'm going to do them together and we're going to show how they're done. And then that leaves us enough time for the end to actually put our card together and show you how well we can really structure them all together. So we've got the uh, Leela China and the Merry Maiden. Isn't that a great name, the Merry Maiden? It reminds me of, um, who's that lady who went out with the fella in tights? Uh, Mate oh, Marion, Marian. that's it. <laughs> Robin thinking, Hood, that's the, the fella, fella in tights. tights. I'm rubbish with names. <laughs> yeah, the fella in tights. Well, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it's Robin Hood. That's who I'm thinking of. I, I reckon if we ever do our pantomime that we keep saying we should do Robin Hood and Ben could be um, Robin Hood, I can imagine him in a pair of tights. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, it, yeah, definitely. Try yeah. and stop him. Abs exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so look how beautiful the ombre is in that one. I mean, so, so gorgeous. Uh, and then we've got our, um, uh, I'm getting confused which one's which. So this one is our... Uh, so the Merry Lila Maiden China. is the one, yes. And this is the Merry Maiden. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, the Merry Maiden is more of a, it's got more of that petal feel, hasn't it? So Delicate. what we're going to do is, again, you can shape them. So if you've got any sort of pokey tool, um, you can sort of give them a, a little bit of a shake. You can use your ball tool. I'm just going to slightly turn in the edges. 
So putting them all together. So it just gives a little bit more interest, makes them look a little bit more different. Um, what I always think with the, anything like this, the first thing that I do if I get any flowers, because actually there's some flowers I've still not even heard of and we'll do a dye for them. Um, and I'm not quite sure how they go, how the yes. petals go. So what I would say is when you get your collection home, just Google the actual succulent and you'll find lots of different arrangements of them. Mm. And then you can get the closest that you you can to them or you can just do them however you want to do them yeah, and that's what I love about paper crafting is the, the fact that you're the one in charge you're the one that can design your own designs uh, how you instrument them is entirely up to you so you can see by doing that we're getting that really beautiful curvature on the edge of our flowers and then with this one I'm then going to actually can you see there's a fold line in here yes. so if you was just to slightly pinch them in you get like this uh, sort of pinched in leaf effect I do love this uh, sh strip color it's Brilliant. so it's like pretty sunset, isn't it? it really is yeah look like actually you could use these as like little fire um, if you've got Christmas uh, cards went on the fire you could use them as oh, little um, yeah. the candle, candle flames, flames. Yes. Oh, birthday fire cards. flames that's a great idea whilst you're folding I'll be reading um, Linda's in saying, oh, my order has just been placed, getting this <laughs> kit with you the paper. You will love it, Linda, I love it. I love the makes and I'm thinking of making these for my co-workers. I think they would be fantastic as mm -hmm. desk decor. Oh, no water needed. Perfect. Perfect. What a gorgeous gift. Oh my gosh, they would love and adore that. And yeah, yeah you're right, it's going to look good all year round, isn't it? Um, she's also, Linda's also said that she's saving this to watch the class back. Ah, oh, brilliant, yes. Yes, so anyone that doesn't know what you uh, do with your saving, all you need to do is bookmark it. So if you're on a computer, uh, you can just bookmark the actual page or just write a note for yourself of shows that you want to write back. Uh, watch back, sorry, not write back. And um, yeah, and then you'll be able to find them. And what's nice as well is that here the team, we're all very different in our styles, so we all create different ways of using, using them all. So it's really good to get a, a complete overview from different crafters. Uh, and point. we're the same as with you out there. I love seeing pictures like we've seen, like that grew, um, and, uh, and the other card that was made, because that gives us inspiration as well. So Definitely. we still carry on getting inspiration from all our lovely crafters out there. Right, so that's both of ours. We've shaped our petals, we've uh, folded them in half and we've put our red liner tape on and I'm just taking both of those off and then we will uh, give them a bit of a spin. So popping this onto here and just turning that round. Whilst you're spinning, because um, mm -hmm. we've just got so many messages through and I, I you know, don't like to ignore anyone, um, Sandra has had a great idea. So if you remember previously, Beth has said, could the sign dies work with chipboard? And we mm -hmm. said it might be a bit thick, maybe you could use cork. Blah, 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 blah. Sandra had a great idea. She said you could cut three or four out of card and sandwich them together using all-purpose glue and coat them with a clear glaze. Oh, yes. Brilliant, Brilliant idea. idea. Um, Teresa's asked Becky, what is the GSM of the paper? It's 180 on the paper. It is still available within the pack all by itself, but that is a little bit lower stock, so if you do fancy it. And Nefertiti said, I love how Debbie is shaping her flowers. <laughs> yeah, and I, as I was doing this, I was thinking, because that looks quite like a bud, that looks to me like a chrysanthemum. So yes. if you was to carry on doing lots all the way round, yeah. you would have a chrysanthemum flower like that if you uh, shaped your petals or like even that. a type of lettuce for yes, anyone who's got an yeah, allotment yeah. yeah yes that's very true actually you can get that i don't know what they're called but you can get flowers that look like stems lettuces on stems do yes. you know what they are yes Becky? um i they are called ornamental cabbage or ornamental oh it lettuce. is what they're called yeah, yeah. i'm always positive um, they look amazing and you get them in bouquets of flowers and things don't you so that yes could be good. yeah really good so you on could the allotment make theme as well you could use the grass one that you've got as maybe like the top of um um carrots or the top of onions <laughs> yes you? you could absolutely yeah there's so much you could do with them so let's 
curl them. But you can see, because we've uh, creased those creases, I mean, look how oh, beautiful that's, that's looking. And if we was to go round and round, we could create the most amazing succulent. And you just literally gently pull them out. I mean, look how incredibly Great. beautiful. I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah. I just, the satisfaction you get from these dyes when you make them and know that you've created something like this is totally mesmerizing. I just love them. So we've got all our different flowers. So I'm going to bring in all of them here. We've got our grasses. We've got our baby aloe, although we've done a bigger one there. We've got a smaller one. Um, and then we've got our other couple here. We've got some more grasses and we've got some more sort of leaves. So we're going to then start making our card. Uh, on our next demo and then we'll have a finished one at the end. Perfect, so we will see how to put all of that in together. Just to let you know, on the side of your screen right now is the dye collection of the succulents that we've just shown you there, including the pot, the tape, pokey tools and the paper pad as well. So this is $57.33 or $75.25, but you do today and today only get the extra 5% off and you are still making up those points as well for your club inspire so do feel free to seize the moment on that debbie's getting all of her bits and bobs together because hopefully if you're making along you've made the elements you want and now we could get constructing so this is the bit that for me is really fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've loved this show because it is a bit like a craft along. So if you've crafted along with me, then definitely post your pictures so we can see them, even if it's in our next show at 7 p.m. because uh, we're st me and Becky will still be here, so we'd love to see them. But definitely watch it back because it is a really good way of knowing that you've got all this collection, you've made up all those flowers, and then you can start constructing your card. Now, what I'm using here, I'm using uh, my Torn Edge Ovals uh, number two. Now you can use any of your, um, uh, what's the word, nesting dies. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my biggest one and my third one in. So my third and first biggest die that we've got. So any dies that you've got in the collection. These two dies will create a frame when cut out together. So I'm just going to bring this one in. So I've just done that out of black card. So that gives me my first frame. And then I want to create my aperture inside. So I'm going to use the smallest one because what I want is to be able to cut the aperture and then lay our frame around that top. So it just creates that beautiful effect. Now it doesn't doesn't matter where you put it. I'm just doing everything by eye. Um, I'm just going to get some low tack tape because it can be a little bit sticky. I'm just going to take some of uh, the uh, stickiness off so it doesn't cut in. Although what I would suggest is uh, sticking it really to sort of the inside if you've got low tack tape that's a little bit stickier. Uh, and then just popping it sort of in the centre here and then we're going to run that through. So any, any oval dies, I would say, but actually, depending on what size card you do, you could use any, um, any shape die. You could use your square, you could use a, a rectangle, so anything that you want to do. I've just used that. I love the torn edge, uh, and I love an oval shape. I think there's something quite pleasing about an oval shape, or a round shape, actually, but the choice is yours, so any nesting dies. Oh, and I didn't say the size of my card, so I will just say it just for anyone that wanted to know the size of the card. So what I've actually done, I've done it seven by eight and a quarter. Okay. Um, so I'm putting it to the side because I'm measuring it on my glass mat. Uh, and then I've actually come in at three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch I've scored in to create this piece. And then I've turned it round, scored again three quarters of an inch in, and then that gives us our wraparound there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to then bring in the piece of, we've got our card that we embossed and uh, inked earlier with our gilding wax. We're going to pop that. This is going to go onto the inside, but what I want to do is to place this onto a piece of card. So I'm just going to bring in my piece of card. And then what we will do is this will wrap around. So we're going to have this. It doesn't matter that this doesn't feel our... Oh, I haven't chopped it down. I was thinking then this looked very big. So sorry, I've made this one bigger, longer. Um, and I like to keep mine longer because 
just in case I don't put it in the position I want it into. And I'm just going to bring my guillotine in and we're going to just chop that down. And what we're going to then have is a five by seven inch card. So I'm just going to take that down. I'm not going to take too much off there to start with. I'm just going to, I forgot to cut it before the show. Turn that round and then I'm going to go into my seven. So that's seven inches. So what we've done is a seven by seven inch card and we've scored down three quarters of an inch on each side and then we've die cut our die. And then that way we've got our piece of card here which we can wrap around. So I'm going to, I've cut this piece of card exactly the same, seven inches by five inches. We're going to attach that to the inside here. So all I'm going to do is we're going to use our tape pen just to go down that edge and then what we like to do and I think you've probably all heard it from Sarah as well she likes to go tape to tape so anything uh, that's got quite a bit of structure put tape on both pieces then when you put it into place it will really give you a super strong hold and I'm just rubbing that in because also heat activates the glue because it's actually glue there which makes it tackier and it will stick more into the fibres of the card. Now what you'll notice is the card has been cut smaller which means that we can wrap this round and then this will go onto this edge which creates this domed effect. So again we're going to put tape down the side and then we're going to put tape onto the ridge where we scored and then we're going to bend this over and attach that onto this side making sure this one's gone in and it will take straight away so make sure that you put it in the right place if you're not too certain that you're going to connect it properly uh, use wet glue so you've got time to maneuver so that gives us the front of our card i'm then going to just bring in my pal fig and we're just going to go around the edges so just changing over my ink pad to the purple one. And all I'm going to do is, why I like to do it while it's like this, and then it's just easier to brush that at the side because you can then hold it and just get that really nice effect. Great. Whilst you're doing that, do you mind if I throw a few more questions? No, go at ahead, you? Becky, absolutely. Um, Roberta says, uh, Debbie, why did you start culling the purple one um, of the uh, uh, dyes for the succulents at the big end? Uh, when you did the double one? When I put two together? Yes. Yes, the reason I did it is the smaller petals that go at the back underneath, they will actually hold up the ones in the middle. Um, so it just gives more structure. And then because otherwise you'd have little ones around the bottom and it wouldn't look so nice. But that you can't even see the smaller ones on the inside there. So because they just hide it. So I would always start with the small ones and twill out to the bigger ones. I started with the big ones. No, because I was would have ended... Was it on the purple jade one? That you, not the jade, the uh, Merry Maiden or the... The jade. The, jade. the neon breaker. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, was it this? Oh, you're right, I did. Look, the small petals. Well there spotted. We they don't miss anything, our crafters, do Eyes they? Eyes peeled, Roberta. Eyes peeled, yeah. That was just me not, not having my glasses on and not looking, Roberta. <laughs> That's all it was. Yeah, you're right. But actually, it hasn't made too much of a difference on not there. On I can one, see no. that there's smaller petals at the bottom there, mm. but it hasn't actually made any difference. But actually, that's what made it look like a... Uh, chrysanthemum. A, a chrysanthemum yeah, yeah because exactly. they all curled in the same and it's the smaller ones that are on the edge so actually that's quite a good way doing it back to front to make the chrysanthemum yeah <laughs> well if you're getting them home you can it was, try them um, all backwards they call them um a happy mistake don't they so yes, um they do yes. linda's also messaged saying for the metal pail samples did you use hot glue to keep them in the pail in the main sample to stick them in I so, I presume. 
Oh, sorry, yes, in there. I would have thought so. I mean, I use 3D glue gel, um, but hot glue is a really good one to do because it dries pretty much instantly. Mm. So um, literally a few seconds and it's set. Where 3D glue gel, which is what I'm going to use on this card, it actually um, takes at least 24 hours to be set completely. Yeah. It's touch dry within an hour. Um, but yes, so on those ones, I would say uh, the... Uh, hot glue gun. And these ones, um, they're sort of semi-hollow at the bottom, so it, maybe they've got like a foam at the base of them or something because they're not too heavy, but I just wanted to show you the kind of finished effect of that a little bit closer. Almost looks like they're set with resin actually because they have got a bit of a sheen to the top. But yes, thank you for that question, Linda. Right, so what we've got here is I'm going to bring in, I haven't chopped my card down either, so let's chop my card down. So now we've got our main card. Oh, I'll tell you what else we haven't done on that one. We haven't um, uh, took, put the uh, black frame on that we created. So I'm cutting my card to seven by five inches. Uh, what I would also say is you probably would need a box to uh, send this card in. So it wouldn't be something you could send. It would probably be something that you need to hand deliver because that's quite uh, a thickness that's going up there. So a box would be better. And then we're going to be putting the succulents in, which will make it even thicker. But we've got our card base. The other thing I would say is in the back of your card, so or, or inside your card, uh, put another piece piece of card. What this will do, and I will do it straight away, it will weigh your card down because what you will find, we're putting a lot in to, or onto the front of our card. Uh, by adding an extra piece of card, what we are doing is just adding a bit more structure to the back of our card, which means uh, it won't fall over. So that would just give me quite a stern back there. So when we put this onto the front and it's filled out, it will stay up properly without falling over. Great. Otherwise it would fall forward. Top heavy. Top heavy, yes. So what we're gonna do now, because I have used, uh, let me find some tacky glue, there we go. Uh, because I've used, um, uh, because it's already curled, I want to actually make sure that this, uh, this sticks really well. So I'm going to just switch to my tacky glue. Because you've got some weight going on here by uh, piling all the different succulents on the front, you really want it to uh, be strong enough not to uh, fall off. And we're going to just pop that down there onto the side. And I'm leaving just a tiny gap on each side. And that will just help then with the structure of the card. But when it's standing, the card itself will stand on this bottom. So it will also give it a good structure. So pop in that side. I think that's all stuck down well. So when we then open it, it will stand straight and not uh, cause any problems. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to be using quite a bit of the um, glue gel. Let me find my one that's open. There we go. Uh, because we're going to start sort of uh, putting together everything we've got in here. So I'm going to bring all my flowers and also let's bring in now our, um, all this magic, which is amazing. So on the show, we have all this glorious stuff. I mean, how gorgeous is this? So here we go. We've got all our, I mean, this is just beautiful to use. It adds real texture. Um, it's just really lovely to use. So we've got all our moss. We've got our, is it sis, sis, sisters? Sis, sisal. Sisal. Sisal, sisal, sisal. Uh, we've got our sisal. And we've got all our different moss here, So which is really gorgeous to use. Sticks down really well and it smells smells lovely so you, you almost feel like you are outdoors but it's all been cleaned freshened up so you're not going to get any problem using it in your paper crafting it is on screen right now and it does come together if you want it right next thing we're going to do is just pop our frame on because we didn't do that so let's just pop that around the edges i mean you don't have to do this but it's just nice sometimes just to have that frame in uh, around your actual aperture and because our, they're, we're using the same dies, they just fit perfectly well. So I'm just making sure that as I put that on, I'm making sure our tacky glue will stick down. It would have been easier to do this when you've got it lying flat. 
but I forgot to do it then, so we will just do it while it's on, which is fine. And I'm just going to keep going round till I know that that's all stuck down beautifully. And because I've used tacky glue, it means that we can just move that to the right place. And there we go. That's stuck down beautifully. You might just need to give that just a few more seconds and keep pressing it down so it doesn't lift up. Uh, then what we're going to do is start using, so I'm going to be using, let's use our really big flower here, so let's pop that there. It comes out a little bit so I know that I'm going to need um, that blob of glue and from the bottom just fill that around so you put that sort of blob of glue into there and then that will just stick beautifully on the bottom which gives us our first piece. Uh, and then I'm going to start adding some different pieces. So we've got our grass. So we'll pop that in there. And I'm just going to pop that into the side. And then we're going to use our... Let's do these ones. So again, we can... You can actually, if you wanted to, stick them onto. So you could pop that in there. So let's just pop a little bit of glue... And then that way we can just use that to stick that into place. So just coming in there. And then we've also got some of these darker leaves that we've um, stamped and done. So we can also add those. Let's add those coming out. And there we go. Just adding our glue. Popping that into the side. And the choice is yours. I mean, the great thing about this is you can put them wherever you want them to go. And you just keep manoeuvring them around, putting them where you'd like them to go. So we've got our larger one, our jade here. And it's good to put, so if you're putting your glue on, put it on where the bit that you've wrapped around, because it just gives it more structure and holds that into place. So lifting that. And you can change them round as you go along. And then what I'm going to do, actually, do we want... I'm going to just think we've put another leaf coming up. Uh, and then we're going to start adding some moss in. So a really nice one to use. And a great one as well if you're um, having them indoors and you want that realism. So just bringing it, bringing some of this moss, just taking a bit out. We can sort of posh, put some just in the bottom there, which is fine. So always try it first. And then I'm just going to put a piece of that glue along there. Again, you could use hot glue gum. I love how so, vivid the colour of that particular moss is. Sometimes I have seen mosses that look a little bit darker and maybe not quite as fresh, but that really does. It's fabulous. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good quality. It's uh, a really good buy. You'll use it in lots of, uh, lots of different things. So just wiping that off because I've got that on me. We'll just put another bit of grass in that side to hide that bit. So you can see it's all really starting to come together. So really liking that. And then what we've got, we've got some, um, some other bits of moss. So any bits that you want to pack out with anything. Actually, I know what we do. We're, um, let's cut some. Let me find my scissors. There they are. Let's cut some of this off. And then we can just wrap that around. I mean, look how amazing that looks. It just gives it a really beautiful finish. And you can put that wherever you want, which looks amazing. It's nice to have all that different structure, those different elements. And then we've got our little cone that we, our little um, uh, sign that we've done. So we've got our aloe you lots, and we can just pop that down there. I'm going to just pop another piece of glue and we'll have that just sticking out. And there we go. It's fabulous. But oh you can my see goodness. it stands no problem whatsoever yeah. because, but do structure that back piece of card uh, and then they look really, really lovely. This one I'd done just a, um, a, a new home on that one, done it slightly different with slightly different flowers. Uh, and with Mr. Flower, actually, I needed to put another flower, sorry, on the front there. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, demo of the show. Which one? <laughs> Message in. We could put either one on the side. So maybe Maybe you'd like new home 
or maybe you'd <laughs> like <laughs> I love you. I love um, you. Yeah, I love you. Um, we have got uh, all of you in and getting involved. There's so many people just sending you absolute love on these fabulous designs. Uh, Rhonda has just said mesmerized uh, at your making people loving that you're inking the edges of your designs if you have been inspired now is your final chance to get that five percent off um, on top of the discount already so this right here beside you is what is on screen right now and you have got loads of opportunities to make some really stunning pieces you're going to be getting in this collection your Lila China. I, I'm going, sorry, I've put them all upside down. Give me two ticks. There you go. You've got your Lila China here. We've also got the baby aloe, which, um, as we saw demonstrated before, we've also got the neon breaker. You've got your jade here. We've also got your sword grass. And last but not least, we have got your Merry Maiden. All of those are coming together and they're coming in with the paper pad, the glue tape and some of your pokey tools. That's in the kit that's on your screen and remember you're getting that price that's on screen with an extra 5% off. If you would like the large collection, it's got slightly different elements in it and extras. So in this one, we're not just going to be bringing to you the succulents. We're also going to be bringing to you the embossing folders, the um, stamps you're getting in there, the poke tool as well. Um, so all of the succulents that I've just shown you there, don't forget you do get the plant pot with this one also. Um, but you're also going to be getting your hands on wonderful textured embossing folders this is the one we saw on the plant pot earlier this one is a die and stamp set you're getting loads in this i always think this is magical you look at a pack like that and you think oh that looks exciting there's 30 pieces in this so that's already massive amount but we're adding more to it you're also going to be getting the embossing folder at the back this one gives you that succulent finish we've got the wonderful border stamper as well as the terrarium and then you've got your pokey tools uh, with the border as well which is what just gives it that little bit of element um, to for example do your namings as you can see in here so we have got all of that on screen 77 pounds or 106 dollars if you are new or you're platinum you're actually going to be getting that today for just over 58 pounds because you've got 20 percent off but today is your added five percent so do treat yourself we've got a bit of time for more inspo debbie yeah, absolutely. And actually, I thought we'd cut out that plant pot. I've got some layers of card. So why don't we use what we've created to create another different card, Great. which is really nice, and just do some different things with them. So all I've done is I've grabbed myself some uh, a craft card uh, card blank, so an 8 by 8 card blank, just making sure I can find the uh, end, which I can't seem to. There we go, it's there. So we'll pop that that way. And then I've just got some cards to mat and layer. And with this, I've just drawn a line all the way around and then another line. So it just creates that frame. And then again, I've used that gorgeous um, pal fig just to ink around the edges. Actually, I need that glue out so I won't put the, uh, put the lid on. Uh, but we will just pop our card together because it would just be a shame to actually not use all these gorgeous succulents succulents i can tell my hair's getting long because as i'm talking it keeps blowing into my mouth <laughs> Ooh, tasting, tasting. I, I can't wait to actually have my hairdresser's appointment so um not long no not long Yours i have next managed week, isn't it? yes 22nd i managed to get an appointment with <laughs> and uh, it really does need sorting out it needs cutting but i also i've been i've been doing my roots myself so I've got sort of a patchwork effect going on underneath my hair oh, I so, think it's that needs sorting out just want to let you know the moss and sisal bundle that we did have for you is 50% gone yeah it's so, so good please do seize the moment and actually just whilst I am speaking about that if you were watching yesterday and you saw 
um, this one being created. It is the same sisal and moss that we used at the bottom of this. So if you do want to recreate this design with that, that's what we used at the bottom. It is really popular though, only 50% of the stock left. So seize the moment if you fancy it. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. Honestly, you'll be using it on all sorts of things because it is such good quality. So just taking off my uh, tape. Well, this one's not coming off very well, so we might have to just put some of our foam pads. I think this one's been sat near the heater and it's gone all sticky. So let me just grab some foam pads, which will make it a lot easier. Whilst you're grabbing some of them, I may go through some of your lovely compliments that you've been getting. Uh, Susan is saying, here in SoCal, Southern California, we have succulents galore. So, of course, I am loving this collection. Absolutely. Susie is saying, all of my gardening family friends will love getting this type of card. Susie T, completely and absolutely agree with you. I think even those people who may be aren't the best at gardening often kill their plants uh, these would be perfect <laughs> for them actually um debbie that looks amazing what a great idea says misty um, we've had the lovely um, Sue message in um, saying how these are just wonderful. We have had people talking about how they can't decide between which one. Beth says both of the cards are just too beautiful. <laughs> so thank you so much for all those lovely messages. And so right, they're just fab. Yeah, absolutely. And so easy to do. Honestly, you will absolutely love them. So we're just getting some of our flowers. We've just put some of that moss in, which is just incredible. We're going to add just a bit more colour uh, and just sort of layer these cards up. I mean, just amazing, aren't they, to be able to create them. And what's great, these are the sort of things you can do off your lap while you're watching the TV uh, and really get these all to come together. And then all you need to do, I mean, look how quickly this card is coming together. It's taking no time at all to just pop them in. And all I'm using is that 3D glue gel. Let's pop one there. And then we've just got a few leaves that we can just pop coming out of the back. And I think we can pretty much say we've had a really lovely, busy, busy show. And there we go. But look how beautiful and easy that one came together. It's there we go. fantastic. Debbie, thank you so much. I know we're not saying goodbye to you for now because <laughs> we're going to see you in a couple of hours. Absolutely. But thank you so much. Who else is so inspired? Yep. Well, we have got even more to come for you on the shows today. Don't forget to save this page because those were great demos, right? We have got Second Chance Sunday on the way for you. And I've got some real goodies, including but not limited to floral frames, stamp and dies with over 15% off and even more treats and treasures, including a few extra points on some items. So I will see you seven o'clock UK time, two hours from now for more creativity. See you in a bit. Make sure you stay tuned to Crafters TV because Becky and Debbie are going to be wrapping your weekend up in style. It's Second Chance Sunday, 7pm here in the UK, 2pm Eastern Time. A look back at all the biggest deals and launches of the last couple of weeks. And then the end of one week means the kicking off of another. Ben and Craig will be here previewing all the fabulous stuff that is coming your way for the start of a brand new week. There's also going to be a craft vault packed full of £20 or £30 deals. Make sure you don't miss it.